This one comes with a trigger warning. This is going to be one of the worst jobs you've seen all year for sighting. Maybe. I don't know. We might live in a place where you see worse things. This homeowner just bought a home and feels they didn't do their due diligence right, and they have questions. Well, we have answers. Flashing needed. Please see the above photos. Thanks for your advice. I just purchased this home and did a poor job on my due diligence. The home has new siding and a new roof. However, it appears that the flashing was not installed on two sections, on the chimney and on a small section of the roof. Is this more than a cosmetic issue? If it is more than just cosmetic, is the fix something a novice DIY person can take care of, or should I seek professional help? Thank you all so much. Well, let's get into it. Here's the section they're talking about. And, you know, right off the bat, you can see there's no J-channel in this vinyl siding. Uh, the cuts look like somebody tried to use a butter knife um, while they held the blade and used the handle to make the cut. Um, but what jumps right out of me, at, at me, what jumps right out at me, is this right? That looks like bare wood. And that's a big problem. If it's not bare wood, you still have a problem. You don't have what we call a kick-out flashing right there. And that's a big deal. I've got a couple of videos I've done. In fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clip it in here at the end where you can see what happened to a house that didn't have kick-out flashings installed. It was extensive damage. Uh, right here, we've got a little more, you know, again, <laughs> I... Yeah, uh, no, no bueno, not good. That is just horrible. At least here it looks like there's some flashing. It's the old flashing, but it's if it's still functional, then then it's I mean it'll work. Hey, they left you a couple extra nails so you can do some of the repairs yourself. And just a little more close up. I, I'd like to see the chimney. There's no pictures of the chimney that you mentioned, but. Yeah. Okay. That missing missing flashing is a problem, and especially this kick-out flashing, because you need something to actually, without it there, if you can imagine the water is coming down the wall in the flashing, and then it can run behind the siding and just rot out that entire wall. That kick-out flashing at the end is shaped like this, and it actually will divert the water from going behind the siding when it gets to the bottom. Uh, somebody did you a huge disservice. I cannot imagine that that's a contractor that did that. That looks like a, a homeowner special that they did. The J channel. There's going to be some people that say you don't need J channel, but the J channel also is going to give it part of its wind resistance by locking it in. It doesn't lock, locking it's not. It's going to trap it in there. So I would disregard the comments from people saying you don't need J channel. I mean, technically, there's standards for a reason. And that's below standard. Now, I would normally say that that's probably something you as a homeowner might be able to get in there and fix. However, I'm going to recommend that you get a professional come over and look at it. And the reason being is because if that's what you can see that is done wrong, I think you want to have some more experienced eyeballs to look at things that might not be visible from these photos because you probably have more problems and you want to catch those. I think you really want to catch those now. And because of that, no, I wouldn't attempt these repairs as a homeowner because you need someone to look at this and see if there's more than just what meets the eye at the moment. And yeah, that was a bad choice by this buyer. Happy roofing. Oh, and here, right at the end, I'll show you that house. This is one I did this summer. And a 50-cent piece of metal costs thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. These people have had to replace their floors, didn't know why. They thought it was a refrigerator leaking. I mean, the list just goes on and on. Health issues, she has asthma, and it just kept getting worse for the last several years. And when you see all the mold, you don't have to wonder why. So now we've ice and water shielded the wall. We have our kick-out flashing. And now we can see I've cut this away. This is where everything has been leaking. See, it's something that just push your finger right through. It is done. So we're actually gonna now, we're gonna take the time to pull this plywood and replace it here. So, back to the lumberyard.
Okay, now we've pulled that plywood and we're looking at what we're looking at. This, this face has got to be replaced. Uh, yeah, we should do something for that wall. You know, this just keeps getting better, all because of a kick out flashing not being there. That wall rotted. The interior wall's been rebuilt and replaced. It's all rotted along the top of the window. This is all rotted, this is all rotted, this is all rotted. Now we're down to here. There's nothing left of this. And then the plate. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I may not get a whole house done in a day. That's because I stop and actually care about shit like this.